and I'm leaving you, and this is no doubt in my mind. Uh -huh. I said, you've got to move out. Yeah. So we went from Northgate to Dorset Common Apartments, mm -hmm. and I continued my thing of, I'm leaving you, I'm leaving you, I'm le you got to get out, you got to get out. For nine months, God is going to show you the truth. You're going you're gonna to be in shock and in tears. Mm -hmm. But God will reveal, you know, everything in heaven to us that we never knew. But, um, no, I never cheated, and that's the God's honest truth. I never even once thought about it. I never even looked at a guy. Never even looked at a guy. Never. And when I was with him walking all the time as a married woman, he would constantly be seeing girls going by and, and you know, following him, them with his eyes and checking them up and down. And on TV, he'd look at me and he'd go, you're jealous, you're jealous, aren't you, with a pretty girl on TV. Mm -hmm. He was very immature. But, um, so he wouldn't leave, and I called Howard Center, and I called all these agencies, and I, I called everybody I knew, and they're like, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what to tell you. And I said, well, I filed for SSI, but I'm, I'm not going to get an answer for a while because I'm fighting it in court with a lawyer. And they're like, well, good luck, you know. And one lady said to me, my, my ex-boyfriend's um, ex-wife, I think they were divorced at the time. I called her up once and she goes, you don't leave the house. You don't leave the house when there's a fire and your kids are inside. And I didn't know what she was getting at. I had mm -hmm. no idea. And I said, oh, no, no, no. You never, ever run out of the house when, when it's on fire and leave your kids inside. What she meant, and I didn't know till years later, is... When things are falling apart between you and your husband, you don't run out the door without your kids. Right. In other, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. But she, she was seeing something. She's a cancer. She's, she's, a, she's all right. She smoked. She, she was not the greatest mother. She had her kids drinking coffee at three and four and five, whatever. But, um, you know, she slept in in the mornings a lot. The kids had to take care of themselves. But... In the end, I never knew what she meant until it dawned on me years later. Mm -hmm. But this is the God's, and I put my hand to God and a hand on the Bible. I never once thought of cheating on him or cheated on him. Right. Okay, never once did I look at a guy with envy, or not envy, but with lust, or uh, wanting to fantasize or, or admire him. If I saw a good-looking guy... I didn't care. Mm -hmm. I was a married woman. I wasn't madly in love, but when I'm a married woman with children, that's the last thing on my mind. Yeah. Okay? Daddy always had paranoia. When you were born in and, and Rosie, are they my kids? Are they my kids? <laughs> I said, yes, they are. Do you want to take a test? Oh, no, no, no. I said, look, you can take a fraternity test. They're your kids. I said, don't they look like you? <laughs> and Reg told me, when you guys were babies, he goes, they look exactly like Jimmy, yeah. Mary Ellen. And I said, I know they do. He said, exactly like Jimmy. And um, I was such a good wife. I was such a good wife. I, I was, I was um, a very feminine, frail, sensitive, Christian kind of wife. I played Christian music. I danced and I did, uh, you know, the videos with you. I don't want to cry thinking about it. <sighs> yeah. And oh, this again and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I did his laundry so perfect and so well that he would complain and say, you didn't rotate my socks. In other words, I don't want the same pair of socks always in the same place all the time. He would get so obsessive, he'd say, rotate my socks and underwear. Oh. And I would tell my friend that, and they're like, are you kidding? One day, I cleaned the house, Danny. I, I scrubbed down the kitchen, mopped the floor, vacuumed, picked up all the toys, did the dishes. The house was spotless. There was one toy on the floor that you had been playing with. Yep. One little toy. And I left it there because you were only you were only gone from it for ten minutes or so. And Daddy walked in the door from work, and he goes, he started screaming. Oh my and gosh! That the house was 
a messy, dirty wreck. Oh my gosh. And he was jealous, insanely jealous. Of yep. Me. I went over to the kitchen and I said, do you know when you have your toast in the morning, there's crumbs all over the floor and all over the counter. Mm -hmm. And there's butter everywhere and buttery knives and um, I said, it's all gone, isn't it, Jimmy? And he didn't say anything. Hmm. And uh, I said, look at the floor. There's one toy. Do you see any debris or crap on the floor that I didn't vacuum? He, he was um, also so controlling that I would be watching TV in the living room for the whole seven years I would do this. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he came in that door... No matter if I'm in the middle of a movie or the middle of a favorite show, we had one TV. Yeah, you would change it. He would just, that's it. My, my game is on. Mm -hmm. He had no respect. He had no, um, what is that word called? You know, mm -hmm. where you do that to people. Mm. You know, you walk all over them and, and you, you're, you're controlling and you take control. Yeah. And, he was very controlling, very manipulative. The only time that I ever had relief was um, in the beginning of the marriage. He said, I want you to pay the checks. I don't know how to balance a checkbook. Because I told him, I, I, I believe in checks. I don't want to pay money orders. He said, that's fine. He said, you pay the bills, pay the checks, mail them, pay the rent. You buy the groceries, and then you buy a little something for yourself. And I asked him, I said, how much do you feel you want to give me a month to spend on myself? And he said, well, just, there's no amount. He just said, just buy things for yourself if you want to. Now, this was during a time that we had a lot of money coming in. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you $3,000 a month? Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yep. Oh, yes, it is. And, um... I furnished, I didn't buy just for myself. I bought you clothes, rosy clothes, toys. Your Christmas was always great. Um, I bought house furnishings. I remember we, uh, we had for the longest time a wicker a couch and a wicker chair and a wicker coffee table. And I said, that's got to go. And I bought a new couch. It was a pull-out sofa couch. Mm -hmm. I had to put it together, too. It was one of those assembly ones. He didn't know anything. He didn't know how to help me. I put it together. I was so happy. Um, I made you birthday cakes. You know, I made a big deal. He was just insanely jealous, not just of my face, but things I could do, my intelligence. I mean, everything you could think of. Yeah. He was insanely, insanely jealous. 